and sees a dog or a cat, okay. I mean, it is like embarrassing. What do you get? I mean, I get, <laughs> you need to walk him more. You need a ha oh, you he needs advice. a house. You get advice. I'm like, you're gonna buy me a house? <laughs> get that I'm like, you're gonna buy me a house? Uh, that's he's constantly, I mean, no matter what I do, he's, he's in a different zone. Right, right. Um, so my, it's unfortunate because all my neighbors dog in the world, if he's not reacting to a dog or someone, it's a certain human being right. you won't like. Like this guy with this cause you concern, this guy here? I mean, yeah, I get, I get a little nervous with everything. He might be fine since... Have you tried to bite or just lunge? Just, just lunge. Any rules for him as far as like how he's allowed to come in the house, out of the house, food? He will always wait for me to say cookies and then he can go eat, even if I pour it in his bowl. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and then um, uh, there's a couch he doesn't go on. Mm -hmm. He hasn't broken that rule. What about the front door? Um, front door. It's bad. I've tried to get him to stop just running. But that's good. If he's, if he's crazy about it, that means that's a good thing for us to work on. Come on in. Going for the dog, so it would be me holding him back. And okay, but before to... you even see a dog, like, because he's, he's not even walking nice at this point. So like, because we can't we can't expect him to to ignore dogs if he won't even walk next to us. Yeah. If he won't politely relax with the loose leash, walk next to yeah. us. Yeah. So, did, what did you guys, what were the mechanics we would, of that? We, we did a lot of like, a, we would walk and if you went in front of me, we would make him stop and either sit or just like, I don't even remember what we had. I think it was mostly just making him sit then. Okay. And then we'd wait till I said, let's go, and then we'd go. Okay. Because she noticed that too, he wasn't great. So this, I'm going to use every opportunity, like, if you got that yeah. for me, hold that for Yeah. So, what I like to do is, I call these leadership exercises. They're really good for creating focus and getting a dog to tune into us in a different kind of fashion. Right, so I won't even say, I could tell him to sit, mm -hmm. that's not what I want. What I want him to do is be thinking, not about what's out there, but what's on my mind. What okay. do I want? So I bring him over to this. I let him make a choice. You can either walk out here and get a correction, or you can wait and wait for my permission, and then I say, heal, right? So we start off by not spoon feeding him, not sit, good boy, no, right. sit, pay attention, right. don't charge out the gate, don't be a knucklehead, yeah. this is easy, right, yeah. that's, that's, that's the game plan. So I do that with this and I do it with a couple other things and we'll cover all that stuff in a minute. Scanning. The scanning, no being a knucklehead. Right? Okay. Those are the rules. Not you, but him. Yeah. So you can walk him on either side. I don't care if it's left or right. Okay. Whatever hand feels more comfortable. You can hold the leash like this. Mm -hmm. Two hands. You can hold it with one hand. I typically like one hand. Okay. I feel more comfortable, but whatever feels best for you. Um, some people feel more confident with two hands in case you get some mood or something like that. Um, the most important thing isn't how you're holding the leash like that, but the space between this hand and the phone collar, right? Okay. So what I'm looking for is, you see, I'm getting a little correction, but I barely have to move, right? Yeah. I also, by having this the short of a length between the two, know the second that he moves, which is telling me the movement isn't so much about cultivating a perfect, aesthetically pleasing walk. Right. It's about when he moves, he's tuning out for me and probably focusing on something else. Yeah, I go right? somewhere else. 
right? When yeah. it gets interested, you yeah. speed up and do all that. All right. So that's why it's imperative to know the second that he's giving like that, or that he's tuning out, or ignoring, from whatever it is, and give a little pop. Let him know. Uh -huh. Focus. Okay. Right here. So we're we'll already seeing a pretty nice walk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the, loop, the leash is loose. I'm not putting him back. Right? So we, we've got beginning some magic here, right? Right. Give him a little pop. And he has to make the choice to hold himself back. Okay. Right. To think and change his body motion rather than me just reorienting his, his body, right? Okay. So one is either restraining and pulling him back, and the other is give information and let the dog do it. That's what I want. I want him to go, oh, man, give myself right back. Yeah. I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Actually, now, are you doing it when he, like, looks at some, like, yeah, anything to sink? I mean, like, a mild glance I'm not caring so much about. Yeah. But what I'm doing is for, I'm being really strict with him about movement right now. Okay. So, down the line, he becomes like an angel on leash. You might not have to worry about every inch right now, right. Or, or every inch in the future, but right now, everything counts with him. So, okay. because he's so used to kind of doing his own thing, you have to disagree with every moment where he goes. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, sorry, you're like, or else no, he's no, going to no. take advantage. No, yeah. no, no. You walk right here, and you pay attention to me. You have to treat this like a mission. Once he gets really good at this, we can loosen things up as we see fit. Okay. Once he's not embarrassing you in the neighborhood and right. causing you to have a breakdown, yeah. we're going to be great and we can, we can go from there. That would be very nice. Right? Yeah. So there was a correction, beating up. So the leash is loose, but it's short. So I'm ready for it. Here's the dog. Check it out. So you guys stare at here. Oh, you can come with me. You stare at here. So he's so used to doing, no, all I'm doing is controlling his focus right now. Right. All those corrections are really mild, they're really yeah. soft, yeah. but they're, but enough, they're enough to get his attention yeah. and it de-escalated him rather than, wow. rather than explosion, right? Look, I'm moving his head away, right? It's a pop, so I'm not pulling him. All these not distinctions. Not pulling him and he's looking with you? I, I pop away from what he's looking at and then he starts going towards Ended up doing a little bit of. Yeah. So that's not how we want to do it forever. But right now he's so used to it. Yeah. that if he sees the dog, correct, and then turn him around and then just keep his focus here. He saw the dog. He had the initial association, but then he never gets the full explosion. Got it. And he learns it's, it's a different deal. Right. Right. And plus, you gain the confidence of being able to control him. And so you guys both start to move down the path of getting comfortable. Right. So that's one of the strategies, but we'll just keep working him. Like I said, he's brand new to even listening. Right. So let's let's see what we get. Let's just keep walking around and okay. check it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, so I'll let them go by. So he sees it. Check this out, right? So to the side. No. Now I stop correcting. But he stop correcting. So that's the reward. Yeah, that's knows, that's yeah. the cookies. That's the treats. No more leash tension when he shows up, relaxes. So this works really good for a lot of dogs, Okay. which it seems to work good for him, so we'll check it out. It's just a focus breaker, it's air, yeah. pressed air. So let me check it out and see how we do it. Yep. So it's good to have lots of strategy. 
Yeah. yeah. It's also good to see, you know, us continue to walk next near this dog because yeah. I I can't avoid all dogs. No, and the glue on my is not street. Avoiding. When I right. talk about space, the only thing I want with space is you saw like if the pressure's too much, I want to create enough space to be comfortable. Let's see. Right. No. I don't like that, do you? Nope. No. Yep. And the space isn't forever. Do you love this? It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the air is very funny. All we're today. looking to do is break the habit. Okay. So that's a good dog to work with because he's really intense. And here's another one coming. This is awesome. It's a great Lots day. Of great yeah, day to be at the good dog. Typically, dogs like that are going to make the dog more reactive. Mm -hmm. He's out on a longer leash, he's pulling his owner, and dogs can see. Dog, just like you can see, like yeah. that dog's right, he'll behave. He can see the same thing, yeah. which makes him nervous. Got it. So. He feels like he has to protect himself. Dog? Nope. Nope. He's here now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's fun to be able to see it. I yeah. Know what he's capable of. Yeah. I just would never think nope. you would be able to do that. Totally different things. Yeah. So um, that doesn't worry me. Okay. The other one I have to go after. Right. So what's happening is, <laughs> so what's happening when you see the the wrinkled forehead and the ears up yep. and this whole thing, it's not just a it's not just a body posture. That's just indicative of what's going on. Right. He's going ah. Right. Yeah. This other one you see, he's going. Yeah, it's the dog. Totally different emotional conversations internally, okay. creating different external. Um, reactions and right. body body posture, body language. Right. So that's why that doesn't worry me. He actually repositioned himself, laid down. I'm just gonna hang out. Yeah. Okay, cool. You can do that. Yeah. So, but the other stuff, I gotta, I gotta go after. Yeah. So a good a good start already. Yeah. And if he's nervous about it, it's okay right now. He's not gonna be nervous forever. He doesn't like this. That's fantastic that he's this reactive to it. Yeah. Some dogs. Don't care. Yeah. Some, it's the best thing in the world. His eyes literally shot out. <laughs> the first thing he did. Right? So, but there's a whole process. So it's not just like I'm walking around with this and just using this or warning him with this. It's, it's the leash, it's the intention, right. it's the strategy, it's knowing all the stuff I'm going to do that I'm going to share with you, and then having this if he doesn't give me what I want. Because I don't want to use this so much that it becomes not effective, that right. he's like, oh, I don't even care about that. So I use tiny little bursts of this behind his neck when he's not looking, preferably he doesn't even see it coming, it gives me a bang for my buck. Right. right? But if I can get it without that, then I'm, I'm doing even better, yeah. and what you'll see is because I've done a few prong corrections that are valuable and use this and paired it with a no, he's starting to respond even to my no. Yeah. It's like, that no means bad things are coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right? So I better just take it easy. So it's it's a good it's a good beginning of his attitude change. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's walk this way. When he's doing that, it's because I've broken through the fog of yeah. anxiety. Yeah. That's with the prong. And what this allowed me to do is he's in this haze. All this noise in his head. And then all of a sudden, pop and he's like the fog goes right what do you want me to do yeah so that's what's going on so now i can actually talk to him a little bit before he's just kind of a nutty guy you know losing his mind there's a dog over here let's check this out and see what we can get okay 